This is last weekend. I went out and I shot some sheep's head, some bass, my spear gun, and I also picked up, uh, managed to grab one big lobster. It was last weekend of lobster season. So today uh, I'm making dinner for my wife Monique. I've already got the guacamole ready to go. Most of the fish tacos prepared. Just about to put the fish tacos in, or the, uh, the, sh the sheep's head on the grill. It's been marinated and everything. But before I do that, the last thing I want to do is I want to prepare the California spiny lobster. So this is the first time I've ever eaten one. I've always eaten the main lobster with the claws, or I'm from Canada, so they would be from Halifax, or um, Nova Scotia, or uh, Newfoundland. But these are supposed to be better, so we're going to find out. So I've had this guy chilling out in, uh, in the cooler, you know, trying not to drown him. He's still, uh, he's still reasonably feisty, although I think he knows it's his time to go. So I thought about boiling him, which is how I'd normally do it with the, uh, with the ones from the East Coast. But I've been told that tailing him and steaming him is probably better. So we're going we're gonna to do that. So I feel bad. Normally I drop in the water and I, but this time we're going to actually rip his tail off if he's still alive. But that's what would happen if something got him in the ocean anyway. So tough luck, buddy. All right, so let's, uh, let's get him over here and let's do him up. There's not really much meat in the head. There's some guys that will eat some stuff that's in here and kind of make like a pate out of it, like they do with crabs. And when you get the real big ones, I haven't weighed this, but um, you know, one of the guys on, on the boat I was on caught, a, caught a, a lobster that was probably four or five pounds. And when they get that big, you can start getting meat out of the legs. But for now, we're just gonna tear this guy apart. So here we go. And give him a little twist. It's got really big spikes on the back here, so it's easy to get them right through your glove. We're going to loosen that side. And the water start to come out. Poor guy. And there we go. Not much in there now. You can zoom in there. And pretty much all the meat is done. And he's still wondering what's going on. He's still alive. But we gotta get this this intestinal tract out. So there's a trick to that, apparently. And that's to break off one of his tentacles. And they're very, very full of spikes, and that's why we have to wear thick gloves when we grab these off the bottom. Because they'll get you. But if you don't grab them right, these actually break off. And boy, they break off a lot easier when you're underwater. And I, from what I understand, they actually they can release these, so they have a way that they can release them. I don't know if that's true, but it sure seems like when you try and grab them underwater, they just eject these antennae to get away. So you have to grab by this spiny base. But you take this and you insert it into the anus. It's a little bit of work, but you get it in there. Push it up inside, and give it a little twist, and the whole thing is full of, full of spikes on it, so when you pull it out, the intestine's supposed to come out, but it didn't, so that's kind of a drag. Let's try it again. Well, maybe I missed his butt. Well, I see it there, but... There it is. So this is what you want to take out. Mm. Almost need a little pair of pliers for that last bit. Oh, there we go. So this lobster tail is cleaned and ready to go into the steamer. Okay, so now here we are by the grill and we're ready to throw the sheep's head on for the fish tacos. So here's the, the sheep's head and I've marinated them in 
Um, there's probably a full lime on there. I normally use half a lime, but um, I just want a little bit more lime flavor this time. And there's some cumin, there's garlic, and uh, a little bit of olive oil. That's about it. So I've marinated them for probably about half an hour or so in the fridge. And then I'm just gonna grease the pan with some avocado spray. And, and then I'm gonna throw the fish taco, the uh, sheep's head on. So these are just gonna grill for just a few minutes on each side. You, don't, you definitely do not want to overcook this. So I'm going to cook this until the edges kind of start to get white. And I, I only want to put them once, so I don't want to keep moving them around because they'll fall apart, which is what I want. But right now, I just want to let them be until they grill. So once the bottom turns brown and shows the grill marks and the edges are all white all the way around, then they're ready. So I'm going to close this for now, just for a few minutes. I'm going to let that cook and I'm going to wait about three minutes. And then we're going to go zap that lobster tail. He's, uh, he's still alive and kicking. Tough guys. And now we're going to split this tail actually. So it's just going to fit into the steamer a little bit better and it's just going to make sure that the, that the uh, lobster cooks more evenly. Try the point. There we go. Better way to do it. I'm gonna rock it back. There we go. Two sides. So I'm going to rinse it off a little bit here. And then they're going to go inside. So there they go. Shell down. Seven minutes. And then we'll check on our fish. Still a little translucent underneath or in, in, in the middle. This one's starting to look pretty good. It's sticking pretty good though. And the avocado oil for the first time. I'm not sure if I like it, but it's okay. Deep inside. Can you take a look over here closer. You can see it is cooked. And that's all we want. We don't want it to be cooked any more than that. It's okay if it falls apart because we're going to be pulling it apart anyway. Ooh, it looks pretty good. I think that's done. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to overdo it. It might even be overdone already. Um, the fish tacos going here. These go into a hole like that. And we're almost ready. We're going to start by taking one of these tacos and this guacamole that I made earlier. And we're gonna just put a bunch of this guacamole in the middle here. Just dice it up. A little dose. And this guacamole's got cayenne pepper in it to give it a little zip. Could have used jalapenos, but I'm not a jalapeno guy, so no jalapenos. And then I'm gonna take some of this sheep's head. I'm gonna put that inside. We got way too much sheep's head, but that's okay, it's good for leftovers. And then we've got some slaw. So this is actually, I should probably have another, I'm just gonna use my fingers. But this is just red cabbage, thinly sliced red onion, and some cilantro. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, 
It's got some olive oil, some lime juice, and salt and pepper in it. That's basically it. And there we go. So I'm just gonna have a bite. Let's see how it tastes. It's a fatty. Oh man. Mmm, got the butter for the lobster. Mmm, nom, nom. I'm hit that next. Whoa, that is different than East Coast lobster is. Definitely sweeter. Different flavor. It's really, really good. I don't know if it's worth $60 a pound or whatever. Crazy prices now compared to East Coast stuff, but it is good. And I'm surprised how much meat there is in there for that one lobster, considering we cut it in half. But I know, there you go. If I get the energy, I'll actually put the recipe down. I'm going to eat now. Oh, baby. Oh, mm -hmm.